What's up everyone, welcome back to the channel. We're out here today at Pine Rivers Park giving you a preview of the course layout for the Piney Punisher happening in a couple of weeks. Let's get to it. So I'm out here today, joined not as always, but as often by Nick Housted. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you will know him, but if you don't know him, um, his favorite player is Greg Barsby. His favorite disc is the Surge SS. Um, he's lefty and he makes really good circle two putts. So make sure you stay tuned for all that stuff in this coming video. <laughs> but we're going to take you on a bit of a preview of the course for the Piney Punisher. Local course here in Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. But some changes um, on this course which we're really looking forward to. So I think we're just going to get straight into it, throw a few shots. And we've got a thing on the line, don't we, Nick? A punishment. We do. Do you want to tell people what the punishment is? Sure. The winner gets to get a disc from the other person's collection over a certain value. Okay. So no DX Leopards. Okay. So we're going to score it, <clears throat> we'll play our first shots, we'll throw multiple shots, we'll play our first shot, yeah, and yeah. then loser has to give a disc from their collection to the other person. So lots to play for here, stay tuned, it's going to be fun. Hopefully it's Serge SS. Come on, come on. <laughs> you can only hope. <laughs> okay, uh, hole one, very signature hole from Queensland Open, par four, 205 metres. We've got the amphitheatre line and the path OB right, and we've got the gravel path and the sort of dip inlet. Uh, also OB. Uh, you want to throw a straight overstable discs if you're a righty backhand, not me. Uh, it's a pretty, <laughs> just big rip and then usually a forehand in. Sweet. Greg Barsby, Star Destroyer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's nice and safe. Bit short, but sure. safe. That'll play, yeah. yeah. That's better. Nice and stable, not going to have any chance of going right over a bit further. Sweet. I'm going to go with the Ezra Nuke. Similar thing to Nick, try and maybe go a little bit straighter. Actually, it's a really fun first style, I think, because yeah. it's like you can just rip one out there as long as you don't throw too flippy and go into the amphitheatre. Big rip off the first, you kind of just let those nerves out. We're going to some very challenging holes after this. Mm -hmm. Safe as well. Not bad. That was very high. I'll try and get a bit lower on the next one. Ooh! New nuke in the bag. Whoa, Let's that's go. a pretty one. So this will be a bit more stable, I think. So we'll just try and really trust it out to the right side. Oh, no. Come back now. Stable. Oh, it's going to hit the amphitheater. <laughs> okay, that one wasn't as stable as I thought it was. It's a shame. Be. That might be in bounds, though. Yeah, maybe. maybe. Yeah. All right. I went OB on my that second one that I ripped. It was way down here though, but you don't want to be going this far right. You want to be more in the middle here. Very bit short, but I got looks for birdies. We've probably got about 95 left. Mm -hmm. um, it's a very pinch green with the OB and the elevated basket. Yeah. So I usually hang a forehand out near the telephone pole and then uh, bring it back. Yeah, nice. So cool. we'll see here we go. We've got, we've got an audience. <laughs> Watch me just chuck it straight in the water. Yeah, please don't. Nice and wide. Uh, yeah, that's okay. That's great, yeah. It's very safe. Short a little, maybe? No, I think it's okay. Pin high, just, but it's, it's safe, so. Yeah, nice and left. That's good. It's not a bad spot here. You'd want to be a bit closer, but. No, it's totally fine. It's just, it's just a longer shot. I'll probably go. You want to be, like, up there, ideally. Yeah, but again, if like you're here on the tournament day, I, it's not that it's bad. Just pump a forehand at, yeah, like you said, at the power line. Yeah, at the <clears> telephone. I think I was pump a force. This is pretty stable, though, so I've got to make sure I get it wide. Yeah. Yeah. That's even better. Nah, a bit short, but... I think it'll skip up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's fun. Nice. And that's a safer putt as well. That's a good putt. Going towards OB behind me. Oh, yeah. Good safe one. <laughs> Laid up the path. And, that, and that's what you don't want to do. It's in bounds, but you've got like a circle's edge putt again. So, yeah. Even this is like a little bit scary. Maybe it's because the basket looks so small, but you know. All right. No! So. <laughs> oh! It killed the boss. Alright, so nice warm up hole to start with there. On to now the gauntlet of the next two, three holes are pretty tricky, and if you're not staying in the middle of the fairway, it can lead to a big number. So this is hole two. It is 168 meter par four. This is from the long tees. First shot, gotta get through this tunnel, avoid the water OB on the right. 
Just try and get down the middle. If you can land on where the short tee pad is, if you can skip around the corner a little bit, that is even better, but you don't want to go too far left and be pinched off on the left side. Let's go, Nick, run it in. Final stretch. Look at him go, folks. Oh, what a beast. I'll throw, I'm gonna throw Onyx. It's a bit more of an aggressive play, but I'm trying to kind of push straight and then go around the corner. But either Nick or I might show you what the uh, mid-range play looks like, because you can birdie it just going mid-range, mid-range, and then putt, so. Yes, beat it, beat it. Oh, it did. See, that's, right. probably, that's probably gonna be a little left, I think, but yeah. it's gone a decent ways down there. It was pretty straight. Yeah, I, think buzz go, I think let's go buzz. Yeah. If I just pump it flat, it should hopefully land around the tee pad. A bit high. Ah. <clears throat> that wasn't a bad place. It's a little high and left, but that's not bad. Yeah, the thing I like about throwing a mid is that Wait. I feel like it keeps the dispersion a lot more in. You're not going to get much skip and stuff. You're not getting much skip. <clears throat> not more, less variation of trees. Mm. Like it just, I feel like it just makes your miss a lot better. Yeah. But it also means that your second shot's going to have to be better. And because we've had a lot of rain at the moment, the fairway is quite muddy, mm. which means the further you do get down, the easier mm. it is. So I'm going to go with the T-bird, but um, usually I just go buzz buzz, but. Yeah. Got to be a bit aggressive today. <laughs> it's the point of a practice <clears throat> round. That's it. Oh, I love that. Wow, that is, that's the shot, folks. That's gone straight. Wow. Great shot. Wow. Get your T-bird at LukeBaneFundraiser.com. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're actually being sold on DiscoffWarehouse.com. Oh. So <laughs> go use code JMO5 and pick yourself up one of those. So... I've skipped left but ended up in kind of the one spot that you do want to be if you're left, left where yeah. you've got this little backdoor forehand gap. And you've is, also still got the backhand if you need to as well. True. L yeah, that's a bit tougher. This is, yeah, this is not bad. So I'll probably just, honestly, probably just like a cap wrap or yep. something. Just like get the skip and try and get like over the, or past the hill and up there. So that's probably, that's probably the play. Yeah, this hole, if you can stay on the fairway, it's not too bad. Of a, it's, a, it's a good birdie. But if you get off the fairway, a par is excellent. That's so. it. I'm just going to go cap wrap. The more stable one? Uh, yeah. Let's yeah. try and go hard, low, and get some skip up there. Oh, that's got to go. It did. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, oh, yeah, that's, that's great. Nice. And Nick's just gone and thrown one of the best drives I've ever seen on this hole. Dead center, perfectly in the mud. Yeah. Oh, this is like, you can just throw putter approaches here. And yeah, I'm just going to throw one of my Lunas. Just try to... Throw it smooth and flat, hopefully. Yeah, nice. It's pretty good. Sit. Sit down there. Oh, that's great. Oh, concrete. Oh, I was yeah. worried about, um, like, being at the standstill, like, getting as much power. Yeah, you really I, pumped it. Yeah. I did, wasn't sure, like, because obviously it's, your footing's so scary. Yes. Yeah. Um, but we still got a birdie putt, so I can't complain. Got a putt, yeah. Just skip off the concrete and went a little long, unfortunately, but... He makes these putts, even though it's only circle one. Oh, that stinks. There's the putt. That's a great comebacker. Nice putt. We almost had two birds on this hole, which would have been nuts. Take the lead. Take the lead. Oh, what disc do I want? That's... <laughs> No, nah, I can't talk too soon. <laughs> okay, uh, hole three, second of the gauntlet holes, 106 metres, par three. You've got two sort of options here. If you've got a really good forehand, you can just miss this tree and push, and you've got to push it straight and then have a really good fade at the end to make sure you skip up the hill. Or people that have a nice sort of Heiser flip game or a turnover, they'll throw it up the left and then get a consistent turn. You can park it with the forehand. It's really hard to park it with the backhand turnover. Mm. It is OB water long. Yeah. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go forehand. It's not even my box, but I'm gonna go forehand. Yeah. Uh, destroyer. Yeah, nice. <laughs> oh, too. Oh, sneaky though. Very sneaky. Um, oh no! What? Hey, that was I got, cool. I got out to the open. That was great. What? Did that yeah. again? I dare you. <laughs> <laughs> With the forehand, you really want to just miss this inside tree. Yeah. And not do that. That so. was crazy. But now we'll you've, got a, you've got a putt. That's my luck return from missing the putt. <laughs> I don't think I really want to try the back. I might, I might give it a go for you guys, but I just throw a flippy nuke on the forehand, just hyzer, just let it push. And hopefully, it probably won't get a skip on this water, but just try and get yeah, it out. Yeah, maybe. Oh, it's going to be high enough. Oh, it's going to be a little inside, maybe. 
Oh. Little inside, but maybe? It looks like it may have gotten out there, but yeah, okay. I, I, I might try back end. No, you, you've seen in one of my previous videos, Jack and Ryan both got to stuff outside circle with the back end, so I'm going to do this for them. Oh, it's just high. Oh, it's turning though. Honestly, like, if you can get that... Oh, it's in the water. If you can get that to just, like, a bit flatter and lower, would have been probably pretty nice. So Yeah, I find the back end's the safe shot for par because you can hit the gap a bit easier. Yeah, um, and it'll finish left, which you can usually chip out from. Yeah, but, but then the forehands gives you a better chance for birdie if you nail it. Yeah, yeah. Just strength. Not quite. Not yet. I need to start putting with the red one, I think. <laughs> okay. Do you want to change him? But birdie birdie on these two holes would be... Fantastic. You'd be stoked. If you're two under through three, you're stoked. Yeah. I reckon even even through three is a good score because there's some danger to be had. No, stay up. Dang it. Let him off the hook there. There we go. Let him off the hook. Yes. All right. So <laughs> hole number four now. This is actually a new tee location. It's a temporary tee pad. So we are kind of guesstimating at the moment going here. So it's kind of in between the current short and long tees. So it's, I think this is a really cool hole. Par three, dead on 100 meters. It goes straight and then slightly fades at the, oh, sorry, slightly goes to the right at the end. So, and then OB Road, I'm going to say it's OB Road right. Um, I assume so, yeah. We'll play that. No danger left. So you could throw forehand, but again, you have to get something that pushes really straight as far as you can go with a slight finish or maybe play a flex. Or I think a safe play is probably just the straight back end. Maybe if it has a slight bit of turn, you're good. But even just dead straight 100 meters, you're looking pretty good. You might get into circle for a putt. I'll go the forehand first. We'll go nuke. Same as last. I'll just try and throw it a bit flatter and see where that ends up. But this I'm scared of going too far right. So I don't think I'll... I think I'll probably go back end in the tournament, but we'll give it a go. Not that was bad. great. It's me too far right, though. Okay. Safe? Yeah, too high. It was fading OB, but it caught a tree. Okay, now we go with the backhand. I might throw passion. Mm -hmm. Gotta keep it low and flat and just let the, this do the work. Good shot, bit low. Definitely the safer play. That's not bad, I'll throw one I more. I think we'll see so many people hit that tree though. <laughs> the first one? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely a good hole though. Good yeah, addition, I'll, Pine I'll, Rivers, well done. I like that, I like that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go forehand. Uh, I'm gonna try Thunderbird. Okay. I think it'll sort of flip up and push. Yeah. Um, well, a bit of a flippy one, hey. Yeah. yeah. Not like flex would be tough. Flex yeah. would be tough. A bit wobbly. Oh, yeah, it's safe. <laughs> uh, let's try something a bit faster. Let's try that destroyer again. Too far right, hey. Yeah, it's close. And that one's gone OB. Yeah. It's a. It's a it's it's tricky. It's yeah. a it's a really good addition. Yeah. I just decided to go swimming. No, I didn't. My disc went in there. Um <laughs> so we just took it out. Uh yeah, with the OB right, um, this sort of area is not the best to be in, so mm. I'm, I'm gonna have to test the OB. Mm. Um and it can get a bit you have to sort of get a bit fluky with the uh the bollards. But yeah. barefoot shot. Barefoot my shot. specialty. <laughs> Other than circle two putting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> As we've seen by today. Yeah. good great I don't, yeah yeah nice i was very close to going out of bounds but just kicked in still a somewhat tricky shot just gotta chip it up there i'm gonna go with the the ace disc the ace disc so therefore it always goes in can we skip it in i just gotta these touchy ones are pretty tricky but i'm just gonna try and get it around that tree mm, don't like this angle don't like that angle either <laughs> all right let's get it out there yeah That's it's beautiful it. okay I made that a lot more complicated than needed. <laughs> just look at the wrist. And the, this was my passion turnover, which honestly, if it was a bit higher, would have been great. Circle two look. But really safe, good look. Very safe, yeah. It's the benefit of the back end. Yeah, that's true, as long as you don't turn it too much. And then Nick's forehand destroyer. Really good shot. As you can see here, it's just skidded OB. Leaving him still with a uh, oh, oh, definitely, actually very makeable putt for par. So, Honestly, if you can push this far, Nick, yeah, it's mostly par at worst. Yeah, yeah. As long as you're far enough up here. It just, yeah, it's kind of similar to the last hole in a way that the backhand will give you a fairly safe par, uh -huh. um, but the forehand more risky, but will give you a much better chance at birdie. Nick's just going to think par, 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 so he's on even par, right? Yep. 
and I'm on one under. Let a few birdie putts slip through, but it's all good. Got a slight mid lead heading into hole five, which is 86 meter par three. You've got two lines. You've got four backhand and forehand. The backhand line is probably the most chosen. It's probably the cleaner line, just a tight gap to get through at the end. Or we can play the highs of forehand as well and try and skip it towards the basket. So again, show you both so you can see which one you want to choose. I'm going to go Quake backhand right side to start off with. Just try and throw it maybe slight hyzer at the right and get through the gap. Oh, geez. That's what I always do. Got sneaky though. Wow. It's probably not a birdie, but it's out there. I don't mind the forehand. If you can just hyzer it hard and find the right lane, you're looking pretty good. pretty good it's gonna be a little wide Big skip. No skip. i think i want to be inside of that tree ideally oh. okay i gotta dial this hole in i feel like there's less early danger yes. with the backhand yes. so you can it's a pretty clear line what you need to hit unless you do a josh and go early yeah um whereas the forehand has that immediate danger so yeah, yeah i'm just gonna go with a rock tree nice. try to pump it down there is that the line Oh, close. Three. Just a little early. Better shot than mine, but I'm close to the basket. This is kind of the advantage of like going back end is like even if you hit late, the scramble's not too bad. You've got a, only a couple of trees to navigate. So you're going just a little lunar down the middle. No, no, no. Just, <laughs> I'd probably either Honestly. go the turnover the hyzer, but I'd just yeah. go a little hyzer. Okay. Nice, well played. Sit. Oh, oh skippy lunar. That went. That like zoomed out of my hands. I definitely. All right, so you can see my nuke and my back end quake both ended in similar spots. Add in circle two. So I can make this. I had to put get another stroke on Nick, at least one. Stay up. Yes. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. Putting's back, baby. <laughs> it's like the, that's like the biggest putt I've made in like two years. The pressure's on now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dang. It was a good putt, though. I think the red one was the way to go. Okay, hole six, par four, 170 meters. Uh, you got two very, very clear options. You can either go a big forehand uh, and straight and finish right, and that will leave you with a backhand hyzer. Or you go a big backhand, try to go up to the top of the hill, yeah. um, and then you have a forehand in. Yeah. Um, compared to the league day, we have OB around the basket, around the left, oh, as well okay, as the we path. Oh, okay, we do now. Yeah, so yeah. try to steer clear of that. and. Pick your poison, I guess. I usually go forehand just because I prefer having the backhand hyzer in. Yeah. Um, but I'll do both. Yeah. Smooth. Watch out. There you go. Clean. Ideally, you'd probably. It was. It was a great forehand, but you want to go a little bit more right. Right. But you, oh, yeah. Right. You can go from there easy. Oh yeah, yeah. Are you trying to turn this at all, or just like pump it straight? If I can just go straight and far. Yeah. Too low. Oh yeah. Just not high enough. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the nuke forehand first as well. Uh, this has been my go-to. You guys would have seen in previous videos. Just pump it out there on hyzer. Smack it out there. Yeah, yeah, beautiful. That's perfect. That's like right. So that's gonna be. I honestly don't think you need to do anything else. No. We'll throw. We'll throw it back in anyway. We'll try it the Hades. So try and drop flat and let it turn. <laughs> Most feared animal in all of history. The plover. <laughs> <laughs> That's mushed. That's great. So if you get up the top there, or even then you can throw a little bit. That's fine though, yeah. So good forehand, Josh is over there in the water. But again, I'd rather be over there because it means it's just so much more open to throw the hyzer. I've kind of got two options, but like I said on in the intro, this sort of gully over here is going to be OB. True, um, yeah. So I'm probably going to just going to go back end anyway to avoid it. Yeah. Uh, I'll probably just go high with like a zone. Right to left wind is pretty common on this hole too, so it's going to carry it left. Way of the skip. Sit. Not sure. That could be OB. I don't know. I couldn't tell. 
my for my back end was a great shot. I've got options from here, but I think that's not gonna, the tournament play is going to be from the forehand anyway. Probably go bring a zone. And yeah, hang it out wide and play towards the basket. Pretty, it's pretty simple. A bit too far, maybe. Oh, no, that looks pretty good. Just move out oh. of the way, Josh. Oh, sorry. Marked. <laughs> Actually, probably better. Yeah. So yeah, I went too far, and that wind's really like carried it over. Oh wow! Yay! That's a very good. Finally pass. made one. It's a great pass, Dave. Keep it to only one stroke loss. <laughs> yeah. Taparuski. Hole number seven. It's a standard hole here at Piney Longs, 83 meter par three. The difference from when people may have played this before is that there's this branch that's actually come a bit lower on the right hand side so those who are throwing backhands it makes it even tougher and even it gets in your head in the, on the forehand as well a little bit so it's just a left to right hole so something that's going to get that and you don't want to go too far right otherwise you'll go into some bushes as well i don't think it's ob but it's not fun to be in there so i'm gonna go forehand with the onyx i think just kind of pump it flat get a bit of fade and skip at the end Uh, it's a bit inside. Yeah. It's pretty good. Little little soft, little bit weird. Edge of circle. That's gonna be a little bit long. Do I get back side of the tree? Oh. Okay, that pretty went good. Around, that went around the tree. That's putting though. Yep. I'm just gonna go five bird. Yeah. The thing that I or it frustrates me always in this hole is that I seem to always hit that mulch just yes. short of that tree yes. and it always just seems to slow it down yes so i sort of just want to skip or just fly over it or skip in front of it or go around it like josh did yeah um but that's kind of like my it's my aiming point but also where i kind of want to miss <laughs> oh i've done it oh just skipped over it slow down a bit it's short oh, actually, yeah, but yeah, um yeah it's fine <laughs> the thunderbird oh geez something is terrible Backside, a bit deep. Yeah, that's why I just need like, I need one, something in between. I don't, I don't think the T-Birds will be stable enough. So mm. yeah, different fire bird or put a Raptor back in the bag, I don't know. Yeah. All right, Nick and I have got a putt off. He's put it a little bit closer than me. Um, got a nice scoop just before the mulch. So try and put this one in to keep it at three strokes, I think. Ah, uh, not bad. A little higher. That's it. Still low. Good line though. Yeah. Oh, snuck it in there. Good putt. If you throw something a bit flippier mm. and you go behind the tree, it's harder to get it to finish. You go right if you want to skip in front of the tree, I think you'll have a better chance of getting the birdie. Pole 8, par 4, 236. Uh, we'll give you a score update on the next hole after yeah. 9 holes. This is probably one of the toughest holes on the course. Mm. We're about to have a stretch of really, really tough holes. Um, there's OB, we can't see it today, but it's painted kind of following the power lines around. You basically have to follow the fairway of the short basket and then we play to the long basket. Um, so throw it straight and as far as you can at that short basket and then throw another one into that long one. Mm. Um, if you walk away with a birdie here, you're definitely getting strokes on the fields, mm. um, but par is okay, but you definitely can birdie it. I think I'm going to go the more stable destroyer. Okay. And really commit to it. Oh, no. That could be fading OB. Oh, that's tough to call. Tough to tell. I can play inbounds for today. Yeah, why not? Flip! That right to left wind. Oh, it did flip a little bit. That's a much better shot. I reckon that's still OB, though. Yeah, I, th I think it, I think it would just creep OB. Yeah. There's yeah, there's usually always a tail or a right to left. Yeah, which just means you have to either really commit to it right or just chuck it on turn. Most yeah, it plays right tough. Up. Plays tough. Okay. Josh is going with a passion because <laughs> it's always a passion. It's always a passion, guys. This is going to go so far for a passion. I'll tell you what. I got to just make sure I don't throw it too nose up. I always tend to do it on this hole and that fades left, which usually is fine, but OB um, today so and for tournament. So it's going to throw it flat that basket. Let it, let it go far. Yeah. That's, 
That's the safe play to do it. Yeah, nice and far. It wasn't very. It wasn't very far. It's been nose up. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't far, but it was. It was okay. I think I was tentative. We'll try and bomb another one now. Just like really go for it. Oh. I feel like I put so much power into that for it to go absolutely nowhere. So, but um, at least you got the safe play they're, dialed they're, in. They're both safe. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So drive wasn't super long at all, really. Got probably about 115, 120 into the pin, and I always end up going short on this one. And it's a little bit of an uphill. So it's a bit deceptive, so I'm just going to go hyzer with the new gap to the right and hope that it doesn't flip over the OB path and just, yeah, get close to the basket. I always throw the shot poorly, so... Not today, folks. Not today. This is birdie today. Oh, golly. <sighs> Maybe today, folks. Get left. Come on. Skip. Oh, he's a lucky boy today. Maybe. I just... That just... I reckon that's safe. Yeah, I think so. I'll just go one more. Go force. It's gonna be short. Much better though. Better line. That's always circle two. Short, yeah. We'll just go a destroyer. This would probably definitely be OB on the day, mm -hmm. um, but because it's not marked <laughs> oh, yeah, and yeah. we need to make it interesting, uh, we're just gonna say it's safe. Um, it's usually yeah, sort of where the hill starts to come down. It's OB. That looks really good. Big skip. Nice. Oh, wow. That looks... I think that's parked. Yeah, good shot. Well done. Well, Josh is a path man. He got, got very, got very nice lucky, lucky. Very lucky here. And this would just this would just be, you know, to top it all off. Put, <laughs> put this one in right in front of Nick when he's played the hole near to perfection. Circle two. Use his own strength against him. I'll oh, stay up. Oh, <laughs> I hate this man. <laughs> I'm never being in another video again. That was low, I thought, the whole way. And then it just went, uh, I'm just going to go. What a birdie. It. We got to do it twice though, right? Yeah, if you don't make this, it doesn't count. That's just, that should not be a birdie. That's, that's terrible. All right, here we go. Well, it's got it as well. Oh, change though. Well, I guess um, <laughs> I guess that nuke's staying in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Annoying. <laughs> Same score. All right, hole nine, final hole of the front nine. Hope you guys have been enjoying this video. If you did, make sure to give it a like and subscribe as well because we've got the back nine coming out soon too. Uh, this is normal hole if you played at Pony Rivers before. 115 meter par three, left to right shot. So big forehand or one of those ten of the back ends. I'm just gonna rip a nuke. You know what it is? Yeah, throw that green one. I dare you. I'll throw it second. Big hard. Yeah. Hit. By the way, Josh is kind of on a shredder. So score update after this hole, but yeah, he's. Playing well. Yeah, look out, folks. It's not going to be that way in the tournament, but. <laughs> a bit high. It's got some good distance, though. That could be good. Go in the basket. Yeah, a bit short, a bit short. We'll throw one more. That was a, that was a good, ain't good line, but too high. Do you reckon this one be closer, or? I hope that thing burns. <laughs> You're going to skip it off the path, probably, and skip and it then, in. Yeah. yeah, ace, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, too much to See, it's stable, Nick. Drop. Kind of lost that one. Ooh, yeah, no, it went too far right, but yeah, okay. in your hand. Yeah, I've been going with this one. This is kind of my forehand destroyer. So I usually don't throw it as, because Josh is better at sort of hyzer flips, I'll throw it a bit flatter and a bit more left mm -hmm. and kind of flex it. This wind should hopefully help bring it back, so. <laughs> Love the line. Now get right. Wow. Pretty wow, good. Wow, you're good at throwing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think um, I was expecting it to kind of get picked up and lifted, but mm. the wind sort of died down, so I'm glad I got a skip because yeah. I loved the release out of the hand. Yeah, yeah that's me done. Beautiful. Yeah, you want to throw it back in? Yeah, yeah I'll throw it back If you don't, I will. Go on, buzz. Yeah, I'll give it a go. Man's big. 150 meters. I just find with the wind, it usually can help carry it a lot more. So mm. we'll just try a buzz and see how it's we go. Tail into. It just makes it tricky, this, because you've got to like, get the really angle commit, right. Yeah. yeah. Then not overcommit. Oh, that's a great line though. Shot, Nick. Bit short. That's pretty good. I, I that's probably the best turnover I've thrown on the hole. <laughs> oh, see. Um, yeah, a bit short, but I don't think I'd want to throw a fairway. Just the fairway is tough because it 
fades out a lot easier and yeah. it can also turn more aggressively. So mm -hmm. I like the mid to kind of control the angle. True. But yeah, those are the two options. Love it. Yeah. So, uh, decent shot. Again, it was pretty safe. I need to get a bit more behind and get a bit flatter. Probably just outside circle, I would say. Four. No, this is this this is like 15 meters. This is decent. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay. Oh, so everything's looking so close to me right for me right yeah. now. No, I'm joking. All right, big tail. So I got to get up. Let it drop in there. Oh, oh my! No, nah. I gave him a scare though. I gave him a scare. Perfect, perfect drive from Nick. Got a great skip. Played the lower line, and that is a birdie. Well yes. Played. Well played. All right, that is the front nine for the Piney Punisher tournament. I'm currently at four under, Nick's at two under. Two. He's gone on, on a turkey stretch. So yeah. bringing the score a little bit closer, things are gonna get interesting. Stay tuned for the back nine that's coming out soon and you'll find out there who has to give away a disc from their collection mm -hmm. to the other person. So mm -hmm. looking forward to that, stay tuned. I hope you've all had a wonderful day. Make sure you make it great for somebody else too. And we will catch you in the next one.